Hello, welcome back everyone. Everyone back into my channel again. So um, we're back onto the site and uh, we basically already developed four hives now officially. So we put the old frames back into the hive, uh, the new hive. Yes, I mean last week where we basically asked them to clean them up and they basically clean them up and you can see from here they they actually pull out lots of unwanted uh, pollen over here where they try to clean all the hives and there's still some moss problem here around but um, I think we all right uh, with all those things where the bees actually been pulled out you know by but the live bee and the dead bee is actually been pulled out so we're gonna move this one around so that the wolves can actually feed somewhere else we don't want the the wolves to be around near the hive so we're gonna be spread them out all the corpses and the main purpose here today is actually we're gonna harvest this one the last the last one of the season so um, we will check these two if it's empty and we'll come back and and grab this away and be ready for winter and the treatment of course the treatment of course uh, we will basically put the treatment that one and this one and this one not yet because we're gonna harvest the honey first all right um let's not waste any time well, let's uh, get back to work and then we'll see you again all right all right so we basically shortcut all the video recording uh due to time constraint i'm gonna shoot off to some of the places now so we just try to keep it simple now we've done the check on that one queen is laying well and a very brand new uh, made it uh, hive is also all right so we put the strips in so treatment will be out um, by the end of April so by the time that we should be able to have a full cycle of bees uh, ready for winter and as of this one the queen is really 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 performing where I can see there are like two cap super seizure where I definitely destroy that and couldn't see the queen because of the numbers of bees is really high and mites is visible now starting from today so I think I'm kind of light and kind of lucky where I have my late mites issue where the bee hive numbers is still quite strong so we just put the strips in end of uh, April strips out and as for this one, the strip is not in yet because I'm going to harvest the very last box of this one and then going to basically store these two these two um, honey store is not going to be very much of the honey in there so we just want to wrap it up after a few days and I'll come back and collect this and all of this and then we'll downsize back to uh, one super and one good box and ready for winter and mites is actually quite visible here I saw two or three mites actually walking around and what, what happened to these bees is they're trying to find a way in is it? I think they're trying to find a way in so well no signs of robbing so far so good and then We'll come back two days later to actually capture this one box and then we'll send it off to the extraction plant again and we're gonna basically wrap this two up and bring it home and the rest of it we're just gonna leave it to the bees and I'll come back at the same time after two three days to, to I'll try to put the strips in and next week again I will be off to some of the places so that's why we're gonna be ready to treat all the hives just make sure that everything is all alright. Uh, we got some drones over here. The tiny little drones. Uh, 
Now drones, they don't have any sting, so you can actually pick them up, play with them. That's totally fine. They are male bee, all they do is just eat and mate with the queen. That's all they do. And then before winter, these guys are going to be chucked out by the worker bees because they are wasting it. all the food. They just eat and eat and they don't eat by themselves. The worker bee will feed them. So um, they're like a king, actually. Right, it's quite a interesting one. Let's put it back. Maybe they will find a way in. Yep. This is this is all right. A little bit of uh, maybe fighting, maybe a little, little bit of uh, robbing over here. Hopefully, it's not not it's not too bad. He is quite steady, and I've cleaned that part away for them. So um, there are no diseases actually running around. Okay. At the entrance. Yeah. This is quite calm. Pretty nice. Okay. Right guys, so as usual, burn this high pool just in case. And uh, I'll see you guys next time whenever I see you. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe those people up there it's quite wet and i'll see you soon if you like the channel like and subscribe my video and i'll bring you more see ya right welcome back um so we placed that escape boat over here two days ago so now we're gonna collect the top box of honey and we're gonna wrap that two honey supers there with no longer need them this season so it's quite wet to be honest uh, because of cyclones so you can see the bees is now hanging around tight around that entrance and that happens to be the same on the second one it's bearding quite heavily to be honest so by the looks of it the bee numbers is looking good at the moment and we're gonna do this quick before the rain sets in and I got my blowers, I got my um, wrappers and we have a uh, trolleys and a, um, a sack to cover up so that they don't smell and come around me okay so uh, let's do this quick and we can sign the field of drizzle and let's get it done real quick right so we've done all the extractions of the super so we downsize from three honey boxes now to just only their own honey super of course uh, with their skateboard and that uh, feeder ring will be in there and now we collecting this empty one so we wrap it up ready for reuse coming season and then we're gonna pack this one back together with the uh, harvested one that we're gonna to send it to the extraction size tomorrow so the bees is still all right so far i don't want to overheat the den I'm not putting the entrance the entrance reducer just yet this one is really packing bees and what about this one this is still all right, looking great. And this one, it's looking great too. So they're still clearing up things out from the from the frame. I have to reduce this there and so on. So interest is reduced, so that's fine. So we're gonna pack everything now and we're gonna be heading home now. So it's gonna be raining soon. So I'll be updating you guys in the part three once we actually done the extractions for round number three. I'll see you guys. Ciao.
And we've been called by uh, Aldi to actually come up here and collect the honey boxes, but the honey is not yet ready. But we've done all the extractions and we came here because of we're gonna taste um, the honey where we can actually make a combination of uh, mixtures of uh, manuka plus some of my honey which is quite good I tasted it myself so we basically going to the kitchen now to look at how the taste of uh, honey this season now we have 20 kilo here for my honey and 10 kilo there also my honey and one of the um, bucket from West Coast Manuka that's 5 plus so I say why not we just make some blend this season to, to try to taste the market and see how it goes and this is my bee wax after all that scrapes and, and I'm gonna take it home and it's, it's still got some bees in there and we can go back and clean it up now this is the honey blend from the manuka and my second batch of the yard so this is two to one ratio uh, two of my honey one for from the manuka five plus and this is the portions of one to one well personally i like this one more because you can taste the aroma the, the, the what we call the smell the aroma from my honey at the same time you can knowing that this got contain manuka in it it's not too strong and this one to one is quite strong where you can taste only the manuka all right and we're gonna blend maybe five kilo of that plus 10 kilo of my honey so make it a two to one that's a new batch of of, of product and then there we go we're gonna be ready for actions going home and not really ready for jar yet but hopefully we'll get there soon all right thank you guys for watching and i'll update you guys what's the flavors and stuff like that i've tasted it it actually tastes quite good okay I'll be, off you go hello welcome back to my channel again well it's a lovely sunday finally the sun came out and for those who are in north island stay safe and stay warm um storm is actually still there still wet some of the beekeepers need some help too but anyway we've done the extractions uh, for the last second round and third round uh, very luckily i got my third round done and we have from the first video we got a first round harvest 16.5 kilo and the second round harvest we got like 31 kilo and then the last round which is a third round harvest we got like 13 kilo so all round up we have like nearly 60 kilo uh, throughout the season from just one hive very impressive so i'm going to show you um some of my harvest which is here we've done all the bottling and stuff and really crystal clear honey really nice looking this is the 500 grams and i have a 250 grams uh, jar as well and i want to try something new this season as i have actually bought a five kilo of manuka so i have 10 kilo of multiflora just to mix with them so just blend them and then i have like 60 uh, bottle of the 200 grams of the manuka blend honey and we're just waiting for the label to come over and then we're just gonna be uh, label them just like this one and then we can actually off to the market and sell them uh, hopefully 
we can actually get those done by in the next two weeks time so look at these honey so these are the very good looking honey and these are the top jars uh, the top lid it's black one so really good looking honey now we basically store up the honey supers that we don't need them anymore this season and the flowers drying up there's not much of the nectar out there for now and I put the reducers on uh, the treatments on and then we're gonna be waiting for the honey label to come and if you like uh, the video like and subscribe my channel and I will see you anytime soon uh, next season and hopefully there's not too many robbers this season for my half just like last time well happy weekend enjoy your weekend and I'll see you soon bye now